review. I'm so excited about this, Maggie. Mm -hmm. I always like prefacing reviews that I do based on popular source material by explaining my connection to the source material. So I need to tell you all, I have not played Fallout. So I jumped into this series as a total newcomer. And that being said, one of my absolute favorite things about this show is how incredibly well-written the world building is in particular in the first episode. I actually think the first episode of Fallout might be one of my favorite episodes of television, definitely in recent years. And I might even be able to say ever when I rewatch it enough to get it up to those heights. But they do such a good job of establishing, I guess for the most part, three primary characters, three key organizations, three key locations, and that's not easy to do in such a minimal amount of screen time, but they set that foundation so strong and then build on it in such interesting ways. And then they find the absolute best actors to fill those key roles. Yes. Of course, we have Walton Goggins, who seemingly can do no wrong. And in the role of, of the ghoul, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know how he truly feels, but I watch a performance like that and think like this dude is loving this opportunity and loving the chance to take it to an 11. And I, I do think that kind of enthusiasm and willingness to go there heavily impacts my experience watching him mm -hmm. perform in that role. So I thought he was exceptional. I really loved Aaron Moten's work as as Maximus. He's a member of the Brotherhood of uh, of the Steel, and he now, now now I'm like I'm also concerned that I'm saying things wrong because okay. in one of my interviews I accidentally said power suit and pa instead of power armor. Now people are giving me so much shit for it. Um, <laughs> anyway, I thought he was great. Matt, so whereas the Ghoul and Ella Purnell's Lucy, I think come with like a very strict routine and set of rules that they abide by. He's kind of in the middle and a little more difficult to track. And I thought his performance was pretty exceptional at drawing you into his headspace, into his world and taking you along for the ride as he figures things out. So he was one of the toughest characters for me to like put a finger on, especially at the beginning of the season. But I thought he did that really effectively. And then Ella Purnell is Lucy. Pitch so good. Perfect. Pitch perfect, Maggie. Pitch perfect. I thought she was exceptional at balancing the, the comedic tone of this show with also the severity of her situation. And those they're two completely different things that are very difficult to pair together, but she she couldn't have found a more effective balance than where she lands. I'll stop my rambling there and hand it over to you because I believe you've watched. How many? <laughs> yes. I had fully planned to watch like it this weekend and I didn't realize they were going to switch to the binge model so quickly. So I was like, well, I did not get to those screeners in time. So I watched the first episode last night in preparation of today's episode and I loved it. I was so surprised by how much I loved it. I was surprised that it was as freaky as it was. There's a lot of little plot points in season one that, or episode one of the season that I was just like, oh, okay, we're going there. We're exploring these things. Uh, I was really surprised by how funny it was. There were so many like unironically hilarious moments even though they were played like completely straight and the utopian dystopian vibes of the vault were really compelling the the patiche of it all was really fun to kind of get invested in and then see it utterly destroyed within a matter of, of minutes uh, and that I really enjoyed and I am already ready to keep watching <laughs> like as soon as we're done with dailies I'm going to be putting that on in the background because it I don't blame me. you it's it not me it's really good. It continues to be pretty exceptional too. I do think the the back four episodes, the story might not be as streamlined as the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think I wound up I wound up feeling the need to rewatch the back half just to fully process everything. But I still think it's incredibly strong. I do have a question for you. I know you talked about the first episode really laying things out well for somebody who might not know a lot about the game. I only have like very tangential like knowledge of the game world. But as the season continues to unfold new aspects and layers to this universe, did you feel at all like you were in the dark with anything or do they continue to do really well at balancing 
game lovers and newcomers. I definitely didn't feel feel in the in the dark. My criticism, my criticism of the back half is, I mean, mostly mostly you know dialogue and structural things where I wasn't quite sure certain key moments were packing the same punch as the first half, but they were they were still they were still rich, thoughtful, and engrossing. It's just, you know, I went from one through four where I'm like, peak, peak, peak. And then I'm like, oh, say like a little dip, little dip. But I, I mean it in in the slightest sense, because where without spoiling anything, of course, where they land at the end of season one. Like it it rattled it rattled me. And again, I do think that all of the lead performances are really great. And I also want to shout out Moises Arias, who plays Norm, Lucy's brother, who at the very oh, beginning God. of the show, I guess I just my brain automatically boxed him into, oh, like supporting supporting role. He'll pop up every now and then. His arcs, his arc wound up being one of the most fascinating of the bunch to me. But my absolute favorite character arc in season one of Fallout was Ella Purnell's as as Lucy. And you know, like for for better for better or worse, as this show might show, like the idea of of the golden rule and, and like doing to others what you would want done to you. It, it just, I don't know. I, I feel like day to day, I always operate that way. And I appreciate that mentality and watching someone so full of life. And so, and so strong in her belief of that, watching that composure crack slowly every single step of the way and and watching certain extremes that that character in particular is is put through like it it hurts it it hurts because i also think and this is why i appreciate genre storytelling in particular you know like sci-fi horror stuff like that i often find that it could be i'm not going to say easier but maybe more powerful to process process our own reality through those extremes. So through her extreme mindset and watching it deteriorate, you start to look at the reality of the world around you and, and you see all of those things more clearly. And hmm, that's interesting. That, the, the show is very entertaining, but being able to see those things clearly kind of like hurts more oh, <laughs> and, ho and hopefully teaches humanity a lesson to, you know, to be to be kinder and maybe understand other people's circumstances a bit better, but I just, this the show really rocked me to my core. And I, I had high hopes, but it rocked me to my core more than I thought it would. I have to say that was the thing in episode one that I saw being set up that I was the most excited to see, which is seeing Lucy experience the world outside of the vault and having all of that hope and promise and belief kind of stripped away slowly and i think there is something really fun to be seen there and that exploration uh, so i think that's the thing that i'm most excited for and i have to say i was really proud of myself there was next stuff and i got through it when when oh. monty gets stabbed in the neck i was like oh 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 but I got through it, so. <laughs> yeah, there, there's like really a lot of high quality work on display. There's here. so oh, much the Big, big shout out to the, the costumes. Yeah, the crafts teams are exceptional. Like the the level of detail. One one thing I always appreciate in in uh, in the design work of a show that's so heavily focused on on extreme world building is when I know everything that I'm seeing serves a purpose. And, you know, these are things that I'll probably discover more and more on rewatches. But but I felt that to be true, even on one watch, like looking around, everything made sense. Something wasn't just there to be like, oh, like we're adding like a flashy apocalyptic uh, thing here just for the sake of filling out the world. It, it felt like everything belonged, like everything had history and everything served a purpose. And I do think that's a, a pretty big accomplishment right there. Absolutely. I definitely think it's got some uh, Emmy any potential in the works? Um, I like the sound of that. I will repeat. I think it has Emmy potential. Emmy, what you said, Emmy potential in the works. Emmy potential. Oh yeah. I'm just repeating it to manifest it because I want <laughs> to see this show get uh, get the praise it deserves. Mm -hmm.